builder. Can he build it? Nah, probably not. He'll likely just fuck it up. And we're back. Let's build another flow hood. This time it's a single fan unit. First up, find your bag of screws, set it aside. You'll notice there's two panels with this little thin strip on it. This one doesn't have a hole in it, so this is your bottom piece. Sit that there. The other one with the hole in it, that's your fan hole piece. That's the top. You got some little window frames. This is for the front piece on the front. You got one side with a nice white edging, the other side's just raw. There your front window frame. Keep them aside. You got two end pieces, sort of two holes in it on this one side. That's your end piece. Then there'll be three panels, two this side with one hole in it. So two of these, that's your two side bits for your front guard. There's the other one with the one hole. Here's the other one with the two holes. And then we've got one big piece with no holes in it. That is your back plate. Ah! And we have your HEPA filter. You'll see on one end, there's a sticker with an arrow on it. You've got to make sure that your arrow faces out. Then we've got two little bits with two holes in it. They're the side bits for your front frame. And we've got one more big piece. There's two holes in either end, one hole in the middle. That is your top guard plate which goes these two side bits with the single holes. We'll put those aside because they're to go last. And then there's your box. Let's go. Now we've got a big pile of wood. Let's screw it together. We'll start with the bottom piece. Now back plate. So we have bottom piece, which has the one single strip down there. That single strip faces upwards. This will go like that. And your two end pieces. We'll sit there and there. I'll try not to drop everything. So we've got lots of these screws. Let's get, oh. There's no wrong way to do it. I'm just gonna sit it all on here and I'll try not to drop everything. That's essentially how it all goes together. And it's just important to make sure everything's straight and all lined up evenly. So it's the same on every side before you screw it in. I'm gonna cut corners a little bit, but Whenever you're screwing, just make sure you hold it, both bits together, just to make sure it's all lined up nice and right. Go down until it's nice and flush. Just making sure you got the right long screws for all this bit. And just with every screw, make sure everything's lined up. Point out, just make sure that the, the smaller side is to the front, and obviously your fan hole is to the back of the unit. Sure, we want to end up at the front. <laughs> Clearly, it's not my first ready. Make sure our little holes have a screw in them. All right, let's put the filter in. Making sure that your arrow is pointing outwards because that's the way of the air flooding. Just slide it in and rest against the two bars to support it. Now we add the front window frame, which holds it. Just be very mindful. You don't want to damage any of the filter when you're putting screws and things in. So if you slip and throw your screwdriver through it, the filter's wrecked. So take your time, no rush. We have two end pieces. Screw holes go to the outside. Nice shiny side curves in. Two little ones at the side. Get your two big bits. Just make sure your nice shiny side is facing upwards. Again, your long screws. Make sure he's lined up. Lined up to the bottom. So it sits, so it sits nice and flush in your bench. So I haven't gone all the way fully tight. It's just touching and I'll get them all done. Then I'll dip them up at the end. Make sure it's nice and flush in the end. Middle, take it down. And it's a wood. I just wipe away from the filter. I'll start with the side ones. Make sure it's hard against the bottom one, flush against the sides. Nice and sleek. And we'll do the other small side. Just gotta make sure they're even before we do the top one. 
And top one should be pretty much dead flush, rinse, resting against those two side beds. And then we'll zip them up until it's nice and resting against the filter. You will see it pulls itself flat against the filter rubber, which will seal it. Trying to go too tight because it starts to pull into the side pieces. We're ready for the front cap. We play our two, sub, two side bits and our top bit. So your one a single hole is on the bottom at the back. Top bit, two little bits, your little hole is at the back. One single hole down the side bits, back. We have four long screws, it's really important. The first four on the edges to screw these bits together is the long screws, but just make sure you save the short screws for these single holes to fix deep. If they're long, they'll go through and damage your filter, so you make sure you don't use long ones if you do these ones. Making sure on the front the sides lined up. Do one in the side first, and then the other ones. You may have one long screw left over, but it's just a spare. And it's very important for the last few screws, you use the short screws. So bring your cover forward. But if you want more or less workspace, you can go a bit further, a bit less. Just make sure that your screw's not opening in the front. So I go about one centimetre just past the first side screws on the side. Just making sure that we're up over aiming the first window frame. And then one either side. And then we have our little white plugs. These go in all the screws, just to give a nice finish. Hide all the screws. Don't forget, in around your front filter. And now up to doing the fan. You should have a bag of screws. The foam may or may not be on the fan. If your foam's not on the fan, it just needs to be stuck around the fan hole. It's easily done by getting your size, scissors or a knife, whatever you got handy. It's a sticky back, so it's very easy to use. Make sure you overlap them so you get a good seal. All right, then we just sit it over the hole. Make sure it's evenly over the hole. And then this single one-sided fan, doesn't matter if it's facing the front or the back. I've done it this way so you can sit it against the wall better. Four screws, one, two, three, four, and then it's done. Not too tight because the foam does the ceiling. Nice and slow. And that's it. All you gotta do is plug it in, run it for 20, 30 minutes before you start working every time. Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Tips for building your flow hood. Number one, make sure everything is lined up correctly before drilling in each screw and there are no gaps between the wood panels. Number two, be careful when you're building the unit not to damage the filter as any damage will result in the filter not functioning correctly and could potentially contaminate your work. Number three, make sure that when you're affixing the filter frame that the laminated side goes inwards to the unit. Number four, when installing the fan, make sure the foam overlaps. This will ensure a good seal around the fan hole. Number five, remember that the long screws are for the construction of the main filter unit and the short screws are to affix the front guard. Don't use the long screws on the front guard or they will go through the wood and potentially damage your filter. Number six, make sure to run the filter for 20 to 30 minutes to give the filter an opportunity to remove any contaminants on the front of the filter. After you've been running the fan for 15 to 20 minutes and before starting any work, wipe down your work area with isoprop. And that's it. Take your time, don't rush, and have fun. See you next time. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If there's anything else you want to learn, drop us a comment down below. Don't forget to smash that bell, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you later. And don't forget to smash that bell over there. Or is it over there? Is it there? There? Where's that bell?